Okay, now's a good time to put the gas tank back on. Uh, if you'll notice, I've got the gauge on. It won't be on yours yet, but uh, under the tank, there's two rubber grommets on each side. I like to put a little bit of soapy water on those when I slide the tank into position. That way the tank will slide up onto the rubber grommets a little easier. So go ahead and slide that up. Make sure you don't hit the handlebar there when you slide it up. And then uh, uh, it's most important that you hook up the vent line. There's a vent line under this corner here. Go ahead and slide that hose up on there. This will still be loose in the back so you can lift it up a little bit. And then uh, go ahead and hook up your gas line and your vacuum line to your fuel pet cock. Make sure you hook up that uh, vacuum line. It's kind of hard to get under there, but make sure you hook that onto that little pet cock that comes out. Otherwise, uh, gas will not go to your carburetor. Uh, I explained that earlier. Yeah, that allows gas to go to the carburetor when the engine's running, and it creates a vacuum to let that fuel th flow through that uh, pet cock. So anyway, go ahead and hook that all up, and then we'll go ahead and hook the back of the tank up next. Okay, the next step you can go ahead and mount this uh, rubber bumper uh, under the tank. It's really simple. You just pull this little tab up like that and then you feed it through the hole and then this slot, this uh, rubber grommet slot lines up with the slot down in the tank there. So uh, if by chance you're missing any of these parts, you can always go on like a place like Bike Bandit and all those places and get this stuff. And another nice thing about their website is you can actually look at, go to their OEM section. You can actually see schematics of all these parts and how they mount. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mount that under the tank and then we'll screw her down. Okay, I've got the rubber grommet in place down there. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this washer in there and put the bolt in there and cinch her down. What? And that should do her. We're done with the tank except for the gauge. And then uh, go ahead and just mount your gauge like it was originally. It kind of slides up on the rubber grommet up in front there. There's actually a little channel that the, uh, the gauge slides back into. You'll see it up in the side there. And then just snug those two bolts down there and uh, we should be ready to go. We'll go ahead and adjust the handlebars. Now that you've got your tank on your bike, uh, you can go ahead and sit on the seat. Uh, you can either do this now or when you get your seat mounted on the bike, but uh, now's a good time to go ahead and set the angle of your bars to wherever you decide they feel the best. I like mine just drooping a little bit from uh, parallel to the ground. That way they kind of look, like you know, look like a true drag bar. So anyway, that's a personal choice. Okay, now the most important thing on, these, on this setup is make sure your throttle is really free and uh, snaps right back. Uh, I've noticed when I've done bikes, if you take your adjuster here and adjust it all the way as loose as possible, so that there's a maximum amount of play, and then work that throttle a bunch of times and then go ahead and readjust it. Sometimes that'll take the stickiness out of the uh, throttle. And then another thing too, make sure nothing's binding inside. Make sure that the steel inside is nice and smooth. There's no tape residue or something in there. So make sure that throttle's nice and smooth. Uh, one other thing, I've, if you're really, really careful, you can loosen this... Uh, bolt right here that uh, has this banjo flat fastener that comes out of the uh, brake line. If you loosen that just a little bit, be really careful. Don't, don't loosen it much. Just, just enough to where you can make that swivel. You can actually re-angle that uh, brake hose a little bit so it angles up against the handlebar. Uh, and then hurry and tighten it. And make sure whatever you do, you don't get any uh, brake fluid on anything because it eats paint like crazy. So be really careful on that. And then uh, if you do it properly, you won't have to re-blade re uh, your brakes. So I do that. And then uh, if you'll notice, I've kind of swooped these throttle cables down through there. I don't use the little wire. I actually took the wire thing off, the little wire keeper. That way they kind of swoop down and under there, and then they'll work nice and smooth. And then uh, on the other side, what I did, I kind of swooped the clutch cable around. So you want these cables to make nice big swoops. You don't want any tight kinks so they won't work free. So I, what I did is I angled this wire... Uh, thing down I bend it down so that it kind of fits the angle of the cable better now one thing you want to do too whenever you're adjusting these bikes make sure you turn your handlebars all the way one way or the other and then make sure that your clutch uh, play and everything is the same from one extreme to the other and the same with your uh, throttle cable make sure there's no binding sometimes you'll turn it all the way one way and it'll it'll take the play out and you don't want that you want to make sure everything swoops around and it's uh, it's the same on both extremes when you turn the motorcycle and then I guess the last thing to do is just make sure you snug everything up. Uh, make sure you adjust your clutch. You have to have some play in there. Uh, same with your throttle. Make sure there's a little bit of play there because that's important. Uh, you don't, and then make sure everything works smoothly and freely. And uh, gosh, that looks, that looks real nice. I like that. Love drag bars. Let's move on to the next step. One last angle of this side. Uh, I've wire tied the wires 
to both sides and then wire the tie the, the wire with the brake line there. It just makes it look a lot cleaner and uh, kind of gives it that finished off look. So do whatever you can to make that look real clean.